Uh, today, I'd like to speak with you regarding deploying Ansible Automation Platform as a self-managed offering from the Azure Marketplace. When you go to the Azure Marketplace, you see the tile available there for Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform self-managed on Azure. So you will select the one appropriate for your region and you will go ahead and deploy this. Now there are a number of things that you will need to consider when deploying Ansible Automation Platform from the Azure Marketplace. So what do you need to know about deploying Ansible Automation Platform, the self-managed offering from the Azure Marketplace? Ideally, you request a private offer from your account executive at Red Hat. There's a link on the tile to do so. Before you attempt the install, you will activate the subscription for Ansible Automation Platform. I'll show you that momentarily. Then you will go ahead and provision the needed virtual machines based on the desired state of the Ansible Automation Platform deployment. From there, you're going to entitle the RHEL VMs through the subscription manager. Now that your infrastructure is all ready and you have your virtual machines, you will assign one of them to be the Ansible Automation Controller. You will SSH to that specific virtual machine. Then you will change into the directory where the Ansible Automation Platform installation bundle is already existing and you can see the folder here. And then you will update the inventory file to reflect the Ansible Automation Platform configuration that you have decided on as part of your design and architecture. At that point, you simply run the installer for Ansible Automation Platform. From the marketplace, select the self-managed offering. Click here to activate the Ansible Automation Platform subscription. Now we're ready to deploy the Ansible Automation Platform. At this point, simply click Create. Now you'll have a series of steps at the top here that you will walk through. Fill in the details for the basics page. Modify the disks as needed. Provide the networking information that is desired for your environment. After we make the changes for networking, make any changes necessary for the management, the monitoring, and the advanced sections here. Go to the tag section and provide any tags if you'd like. And then we move to the final step. Review this page and double check that you've entered everything correctly. Click create. After a few minutes, you will have the virtual machine available. SSH to this virtual machine. Change to the folder where we have the Ansible Automation Platform installer. In this folder, there is an inventory file. Modify this inventory file based on the desired configuration and design for your Ansible Automation Platform. At this point, you can run the setup script. When planning the design for your Ansible Automation Platform environment, please be sure to reference the documentation page for Ansible Automation Platform 2.4. Please visit the planning guide and then scroll down and also visit the installation guide. At this point, our installation is complete. Now we can log in to the Ansible Automation Platform controller. And now we're ready to activate the Ansible Automation Platform controller. Select the subscription. Enable the analytics. This will allow you to take advantage of the Red Hat Insights services that are available for Ansible Automation Platform. And now you're ready to automate. There is another way to deploy Ansible Automation Platform on Azure, the self-managed offering. The Ansible Content Lab team has made available a specific repository that has everything you need to be able to deploy the underlying infrastructure and then designates a specific machine as the installer where you go ahead and run the installation from. So this really simplifies the process. We'll take a look at that shortly. Here is the Ansible deployment repository for Ansible Automation Platform on Azure. If you scroll down, you'll see here, these are all the steps that it performs. It will walk through deploying and configuring all the underlying infrastructure that you need to deploy Ansible Automation Platform. And it gets you to the point where you simply need to run the Ansible installer. 
Now that this repository prepared the entire infrastructure and configured it for you, and prepared one of the machines so you can run the installer, you simply need to SSH to that machine. And very similar to what we did earlier, you also just run the setup SH here from that corresponding folder.